welcome to Little Workman Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the South East Coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 15th of April 2024 and this is episode number 180. Can you believe 180? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and anywhere you can find me will be down in the description box and anything that I mentioned today will also be down in the description box. I would like to say a big 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 thank you to all your birthday wishes presents gifts cards wow i was spoiled rotten i really really was <laughs> i didn't even have to do the dishes <laughs> i didn't realize he was up there <laughs> i'm leaving that in So yeah, so a big, big thank you to everybody. Oh, we had a lovely weekend. Uh, as you can hear, Glenn is off. He uh, booked a few days off work, so which has been really, really lovely. And yeah, it's been a really lovely weekend. It's a real miserable day today, though, <laughs> weather-wise. It really is dull and windy again, and I don't do wind, not at all. Right then, okay, so now... Today is a packed episode. I have got to say, say it is absolutely heaving. Um, I have got my birthday gifts to show you. I have got a lovely nice to show you. Um, some naughties. And some makes. Now the makes today, um, progress on sock knitting. Uh, progress on my nimu, 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 you know that blanket. Cross stitch. And a complete finish with so and so, and I'm so chuffed with it. I really am. Right then, okay. So um, I think we're just going to hop right in. First of all, I think I'll show you my birthday gifts. Now, oh, I got the book. I am so so chuffed. I can't stop looking at it. It is so so. Oh, it's just beautiful, and. Because Glenn got it directly from Alice Cal Caroline, uh, there is a signed copy as well, <laughs> so which is lovely. But oh, honestly, it is beautiful. I haven't managed to start the quilt yet. I was hoping to, but I haven't. But um, I definitely, it's itching, it's talking to me, trust me. <laughs> so yeah, so Glenn got me this gorgeous book. Oh, and he also got us this beautiful fabric so i'm going to be making myself um, some pro a project bag and uh dpn cozies and all things like that in the gorgeous oh i was just so excited <laughs> yeah so yes and let's go on to now from my dear dear friends susan and paul now i I have what I did wear this on my birthday. I've got a photograph here actually um, of me wearing it. And I, um, so I washed it, and luckily it was lovely weather that I could get it dry. Uh, this beautiful t shirt, I've just got an eye on it now. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? And my favourite colour. Oh, love it. Love it. So thank you both so much. There's that. Um, right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, oh, well, he lost that. Also, with the t shirt, these are brilliant. Are they on? Have I put them on this one? Nope. I have put them on this one. Yes. I'll show you those in a minute, the progress. Some new needle stoppers. Little pony cats. And Teresa sent me, this is brilliant, because you know for Christmas, Teresa sent me my pumpkin, that's downstairs on my another Notions pouch um, charm, and she sent me for my birthday, an Elmo one, not even a little pig nose, and it's got the um, half square triangles for a body, that is just amazing, amazing, so thank you so much Teresa, Susan and Paul. Um, I'll show you those in a moment. 
um i got some, some money gifted so thank you so much uh, to you you know who you are thank you um i'm trying to think i got so i got i was spoiled i really was spoiled <laughs> um there was something else oh i got a lovely packet of seeds um from my dear friend helen hi helen so thank you so much oh the card is amazing <laughs> i'll I'll put a picture up here of all my cards they are brilliant aren't they oh i just love them and um i can't i've got a feeling i'm missing something but i ain't i've, I've brought everything up i'm sure I <laughs> yeah no no that's you yeah so yeah so thank you all so much honestly oh it has been so much fun it really have right then so let's get into the crafty shall we let's get into that right so i have actually i'll put all that lot together that's my alice caroline stuff for my quilt right then, so first of all i am going to show you what i have been hand sewing for to go with my quilt when I do the hand part and um, you know I've spoken about um, Emma oh, you know lo loads of times she's lovely she really is it's Emma Jones hello darling uh, from the vintage sewing box she's her patterns are just amazing to follow they really are and I have made the hexagon storage basket that's the pattern and um, it uh, there is actually two sizes in uh, included in the pattern i did the small and i'm just so chuffed hello darling is elmo coming <laughs> i am just so chuffed with the way this turned out look at that i fussy cut the middle of the actual uh, granny squares no they're not they're grandmother flower garden and put the hexagon uh, i'll get it right in a minute the pumpkin fabric like that uh, what I think I might have to do is tip you down. So I, let me, sorry for the movement. I'll tip you down and show you what I have in my box. Can you see? Or do I need to go higher? I think I need to go a bit higher, don't I? There we go. I have actually brought up my pumpkin pincushion because I thought that just went brilliantly. And I've got all my bits. You get pockets, look. For all around the side there's my hand and machine needles uh, that's my little thread holder that I made originally I was going to make a another one of these to match but I love this one so much that I've decided against that because I just love that one so um yeah and there's all my bits and there's plenty of room and my pumpkin pin cushion all inside so for the small, this is a brilliant size, <laughs> absolutely brilliant size. Um, yeah, you know, I can fit so much in it. So I don't know what on earth the large must be woo, like, like, like that. So let's tip you, tilt you back up again. There we go. Right. OK, so, yeah, so oh, I am just so chuffed with this. As I say, it was brilliant to make. It is hand at the outside and oh, the base is handwork. The lining is done on the machine, but you can do it by hand. And um, yeah, oh, love it. So Emma, brilliant pattern. Thank you so much uh, for a great idea. You could fit so much in this. So now that will go with my new quilt when I start it. Also, I have, I was doing some of this last night. Well, put that there. As I said, I have been, you know, I'm making the Nimue, 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 yes, it. Uh, crochet Blanket by Shelley Husband. This is the book. And, oh, I just love it. He's next door in the bathroom doing something to the bath. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> So this is it now. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I do apologise. I'm apologising for the noise you're making. <laughs> so, yep. 
honestly i am loving it absolutely loving it right while we're on crochet i am going to explain something now i would love to say a big thank you and i'm sorry i haven't written down your names uh, to two people that actually got in contact with me uh, regarding the crocheted uh, cardigan that i was doing thank goodness you said what you said because you i would have been so heartbreaking so I have un I frogged it. I have taken it to pits because um, the two lovely ladies that messaged me. Let's put you down again. That's better. The two lovely ladies that messaged me um, said about sticking acrylic, it would come undone, and it would be best to do um, a swatch just in case. Luckily, I did because um, I did a swatch, I cut the chain and it just unraveled. So I thought I ain't doing all that work on the risk of that happening at all. So I frogged that. So, and because, you know, I mean, as I said before, the cost of the yarn to do that in a, a hand dyed is just, well, yeah. Anyway, so uh, that will not be made. That will... <laughs> oh, it's raining yeah so that definitely will not be made so you know i mean hey ho we live and learn don't we we live and learn so then i started another cardigan could i get into it i couldn't get into it at all with the same yarn because i thought well i'll use up the yarn so i frogged that then i thought well, what i'll do because it's a four ply i will do another one of the vintage uh, granny cardigans because I've really got two haven't I I got about that far last night I frogged it I don't know why I just sat there and took all the bits and I thought no I'm just not enjoying this so the wool has gone into the the naughty corner at the moment and it will uh, stay there until something comes along and I think that's the one you know what I mean so yeah that's <laughs> that's that really uh so but, but both of you honestly i mean it thank you so much for messaging um me because as i say that has saved me a lot of heartache it really has you know it'd been nothing more than doing all that hard work and then cutting that up and it just unraveled so you know it was worth a try weren't it so thank you ever so much <laughs> right then so now we're going to go over to the knitting so as you know i am doing socks or and uh, I've decided to go back to my old way of doing it. I haven't done it like this for ages. And I tell you what, I think a change every now and again brings back some, you know, enthusiasm, doesn't it? So I've done both the legs. This one is going to have a heel flap and gusset. So these, uh, this is the first heel. And on here, here should be my, yeah, my cats. So that is the first heel. Because what I do is I tuck them down there. And also another thing I'll show you what I do is I like a bit of bling on my socks. But I find if I use the uh, lobster clasp, because I think a lobster clasp is more versatile when it comes to using them. Because then you can clip them onto when you're doing a uh, magic loop. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're more, um, you know, you get to use them more, don't you? But because they're a bit thicker, they... Um, sometimes can leave a gap it doesn't matter how much you pull the yarn it seems to leave a little gap so what i do is <laughs> i get one of my favorite little stitch markers like that and i i just hook the actual bling onto it you see that's a chapel view crafts you can tell that is can't you but uh, yeah so and it's nice actually because it weights everything down <laughs> So, yeah, so that's the first sock. The second sock, I am still on the flap. There's my Canadian. I think they were cool. They are so cool. And yet again, oh, on this one, I have a, this is my favourite all-time cake. An ice finger. There we go. And I've got that, yet again, hooked on like that. So, yeah. And when I'm doing the heel flap and the uh, the heel turn i just tuck them in like that and you don't even know they're there so yes yeah, so i'll i'm started the heel flap on that one 
so yeah oh, that the yarn is knitting up absolutely gorgeous it is a mrs rabbit yarns but as you know she doesn't dye anymore oh i can't find the label now no sorry i ain't got the label now it must be downstairs but um yeah oh i'm so chuffed with these i really am they're just coming up lovely so that goes in there it's been a busy week of a mixture of crafts this week then i got me cross stitch so my dear friend helen again hi darling she gifted me this oh, amazing cross stitch pattern i just love it it is a primrose cottage and it's called leaves of autumn it actually says on it every leaf speaks bliss to fluttering frog yeah hang on every leaf speaks bliss to me fluttering from the autumn tree so i have done let's have a look this branch here to about there and i've done the me and i want because i love houses and i thought oh i'm going to start the house and i can't believe what i actually did because i didn't seem to have that thread so I got onto Patchwork Rabbit and because uh, they're so good with their postage and I ordered some, um, one that I was missing and I also ordered another one of this because this is the tree and I thought well that ain't going to be enough. So luckily I, you know, I did order, I had to do an order because I would have run out. So let's take this out of here if I can because I haven't got my oh. uh, Where's my sewing machine screwdriver? Pick me up. Now I tell a lie. Where's my... Yeah, I always have a screwdriver <laughs> for me hoops. <laughs> Oops. So let's take it out of the hoop and I'll show you it all in its glory. Oh, right then, okay. Right, so let's get that. So, I have to say, I've done that little bit of branch with the little flowers, and I've started the I did the me and I did the bit of grass as I say because I didn't have the thread for the tree uh, for the house, but I have now, I have now got the thread for the house, so um, yeah, I'll be doing some more of that. Oh, it is such a gorgeous pattern when I'm stitching it I was thinking wonder what on earth I'm going to do with it I might just frame it to be honest we'll see I am doing this on a 16 count so it's going to be a bit smaller anyway 16 count fibre on a whim um, Ada Latte which is from the pack, Patchwork Rabbit and um yeah it is beautiful beautiful ada to stitch on it really really is right okay so that's the crafting i'm just so happy with my sewing basket i really am or sewing box what's it been what do you call it so storage basket that's it oh i just love it absolutely love it right let's pack this away right okay now we will go into the nices oh i can't believe these a lovely lady called linda hello darling she sent me this amazing card oh, i just think it's beautiful with a lovely lovely message in it so thank you so much and she sent me some cross stitch patterns that she has um, already stitched this one i think this is gonna have to be my next one look at that that is a uh, little yeah little house needleworks but i honestly think that's got to be my next one this is so much fun that is oh a sampler holiday cross stitch pattern and from love De love little love designs look at the shape that one's called Spring Awakening. 
this one is Little Dove Designs again, and this is Summer Blooms. Autumn Glows. Look at that. I've got to stitch that, haven't I? Oh, that is just adorable. And this one as well. Winter Warmth. Isn't they gorgeous? So, Linda, thank you so, so much. They are beautiful, and I am definitely going to be stitching them. Definitely. Right then, now we're going to get on to the Alice Caroline. Right, okay, so I've got my little bookmark, which I will actually put on the first page, because as I said, it goes right to the page that I need for when I'm going to, what block I'm doing and so on. So this is the first page. And in the book, as I say, Rachel... Oh, you have been a little star. You really have from Stitches with Rachel. Really have Stitches with Rachel. Actually, do you know what? Bless you. I always forget. <laughs> and I always go back to my books. I know I'm written in here somewhere. Yep, Stitch with Rachel. Hello, darling. We've been messaging back and forth, back and forth. And go over and watch um, her videos. Uh, her and her sister has just been on a little... Um, uh, a socation <laughs> a four day weekend they oh what a lovely idea they rented a cottage and they just both went together and sewed oh absolutely lovely and quilted and um anyway so um rachel has put up a a, a video starting with the first load of um, blocks out of the book and i was watching her video and it's some of these you have to really read the book honestly for this like the first block you use a quarter inch seam a quarter inch seam for the second block the third the fourth there's one of these i'm going to come to it in a minute um <laughs> it tells you here we go right on block eight you need a scant quarter inch seam which is just a couple of threads of your fabric smaller than the quarter of an inch so you really really have to read her seam allowances in this because some of them are a quarter inch some of them are a scant so what i did is i went online to see about um the easiest way because you know normally i must admit in the past because lynn edwards liked to use a scant i have used um just my eye which you know doesn't always work out right especially with my eyes anyway um so i thought no oh, you know this is oh, liberty and i want to do this right so i did some um, homework and i went um there is a ruler that you can buy which is the perfect piecing seam guide and it actually is for you set up your machine for your needle i should say for a scant quarter of an inch Obviously, it's, it's made in America, so everywhere over there you could see them. And I thought, well, no, yeah, I, I don't like ordering from other, other places like that. So, luckily, over here in the UK, good old Quilted Bear, bless them. They've all, that's where I got my iron from, actually, many years ago. And, um, yeah, you know what I mean? They have one, and it was £7 something, that's all it was. And I think it was postage free, actually. So... If anybody wants to get one of the tools over here in the UK, hop over to the Quilted Bear, okay? On their website, it's there, right? And it's this. It is the Perfect Piecing Seam Guide. And there's the magic word. It gives you the perfect scant quarter of an inch seam. It shows you there how to set it all up and... See if I can uh, have I got oh gosh um ah no <laughs> ah right yeah I won't have to use this Let's see if it shows up on there that is the little ruler you get okay and then that's the hole so basically you put that underneath your foot do not if you have one of them machines that push the button 
do not do that because if that needle hits this it can ruin this and it can actually ruin your machine it really can so you hand um, clunk it down okay very very gently so you put it in like that then you put the your needle in there straighten up this line and then that gives you the quarter of an inch then you get these are separate you have to buy these separate you can use masking tape uh, which is a low tack so it doesn't make your machine you know tacky and just put a couple of layers of that on on up to the needle then you've got your seam okay yeah not up to the needle up to the here or you can buy these now these are from cnt publishing okay uh, they are made in the US again, but you can buy them over here. Now, in here, you get five, and they're reusable, so, you know what I mean? I had did have it set up on my machine, and they're low-tack. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, they're low-tack, so, as I say, you put that like that with the needle, and then you put that up against there like that, and then put that on the machine bed, plate and then take that away and that gives you your skank quarter of an inch okay they do work out cheaper than buying a quarter of an inch foot and then guessing <laughs> they do that but as i say well worth getting if you're gonna you know do a big project like this so uh yeah so that's the quilted bear and oh i've got them in the wrong way around now and this is amazon so yeah okay they are for my seams but other than that because of the machine i've got my machine has actually got if i can find it oh here it is not keen on the style of quarter of an inch foot for this machine but i'm going to persevere and you you know and get used to it and use it so this is the actual quarter inch foot for my machine they're not universal please don't think they are because they're not okay um you've got your guide there so basically that's fixed onto your foot and then your fabric goes underneath there another thing i will say i have done on the machine as you see i have got my thread which is a thinner thread uh, thinner white thread to use and I have gone down a needle size down to a 12 stroke 80 um, because I'm using a, a finer fabric so but even if I was just using the basic craft cotton and doing a quilt I would use a 12 stroke 80 um, as the needle I've always used so I'm all set up with that I might as well leave the quarter inch foot out actually and um, yeah so I'm hoping to get started on this very soon. Here comes my baby boy again. Hello. Oh, hello. You come to say hello? <laughs> Let's get you up then. Oh, here he is. Here's the baby. Glenn said he wasn't yesterday. He doesn't look kitten anymore. Does he look like a big boy? Yes, you does. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there you go. Go on, he's a good boy. Right, so yeah, and I am actually going to be going right from number one through to that because there's a hundred blocks in this, yeah. And I'm going to start at number one and go right through. There is a, actually a one of the appliques. There is a cat, so, and I have got leave my bits alone. He's a good boy. Where is it? Oh, oh here it is. Is this the? Yeah, in one of the pieces, and that does fit. I have had a look. is a black and white print and i'm going to put a little pink piece on there <laughs> so we all know who that's going to be don't we yes we do so uh, yeah and as i said before i'm not going to do the raw applique that is not my thing i don't like raw applique so i am gonna um bond it on and do bonded applique and then blanket stitch around the outside but when i get to that part i'll show you all how i do it there is a there's a pieced section English paper piece section. God, some of them blocks are gorgeous. And the um, applique section. Have I missed anything else out? No, I don't think I have, actually. 
honestly it is just gorgeous it really is and i can't wait also actually on my birthday which i was so chuffed about you know i ordered where are they oh i ordered a pack of their cotton poplin liberty packs you think i can't remember you get 36 i think for 10 pound and i ordered one when they came i was so impressed that i've ordered two more well this one oh my gosh the colors in this one is oh my gosh gorgeous look at those but yeah oh very autumnal this one is <laughs> which is perfect so yep i'm gonna be mixing those up and say so these they are actually advertised at five and a half by five and a half but they've actually gone by the looks of it by this the sticker which i have tried you can remove so it actually is a seven and a half by five and a half so yeah i'm gonna have fun cutting those and doing that and as i say i've got the bits that emma gifted me and this is the color the ivory i'm going to use for my background fabric so i've got all the background fabric i don't know i'll probably have to add some more of the little bits and because i'm going to play around with them and make them work put it that way and yeah so i'm so looking forward to it getting started and that's my little see my little bookmark it works doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah i'll put those in there like so so and then oh that goes on top so that actually is my <laughs> all ready for my quilt i'm just oh, so excited i can't wait i know once i start it will be it'll be hard to stop it really really will be hard to stop but i'm so chuffed i got my basket made and everything finished ready so hopefully just chucking it down now hopefully i will get it done uh, get it started so i can show you a couple of blocks ready for next week right then okay i think that is it for this week as i say <laughs> very busy so i have we have definitely got a what have you been up to wednesday we've had some oh, as always some gorgeous work coming through there is going to be a special and i mean a special video someday this one day this week I was hoping to be able to get outside and record it but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to so I might have to record it downstairs but it doesn't matter but it's um uh yeah it, it's cool it is cool so yeah you know please you know look forward to it because it's brilliant absolutely brilliant so I'm looking forward to recording it I really am okay then right so i am going to disappear so as i say i'll be back on wednesday so please take care stay safe and as always my lovelies happy crafting <laughs>